Okay, so we're going. Okay, so just review from last week. What is the major hormone that causes us to store fat? Insulin. Insulin. Insulin, right? That is the primary hormone, and that's one of the big things that we're focused on in doing this is reducing the amount of insulin that you produce. So that's reduced by the quantity of food you eat. So the more food you eat, the more insulin you produce. The, um, the rapidity to which your food turns into sugar, so things like corn and rice and flour, those turn into sugar very quickly, right? So they raise your blood sugar faster. So on this regimen, you're not eating foods that will turn to sugar quickly, right? So that reduces your insulin also. And then the intensity of sweet, right, determines how much insulin you produce. So that's why the diet, aspartame, all these uh, artificial sweeteners, while they don't contain calories, they make you produce insulin, which still makes you gain weight, right? Okay, and then the, what's the other hormone that helps us store fat? The thyroid? No. Store fat. So the estrogens, oh, right? Uh, estrogen. And again, that's why there's a difference usually between men and women and the rate at which they lose weight. So uh, women have a tougher time losing fat because they have an, another hormone that is predisposed to making you store fat, right? So estrogens is, um, or that class, estrogens is a class of hormones, right? Now there's one particular estrogen in particular that then your fat cells produce. So it makes you get more estrogen. Anybody remember which hormone that is? Estrone. Estrone. Right? So the fat cells produce estrone. So the more fat cells you have, again, the more you're going to hold on to fat. And then there was a third group of hormones that we talked about that uh, makes us store fat. Anybody remember what those were? Growth factors. Right? And growth factors come from where? Yeah. Inflammation. So if you've got a too high of a microbe count, right, the yeast, bacteria, whatever, and your immune system is activated, you'll produce growth factors. And growth factors make you grow. <laughs> you know, they make you gain weight, right? So that's those are the, so the other thing that we're doing in this program is trying to reduce the amount of yeast in your body. So if the, we get the yeast level down, then you don't have the inflammation. If you don't have the inflammation, then you're not producing the growth factors, right? So we're addressing all those hormone groups, the estrogens, the growth factors, and insulin. Okay. Now. So you're on some uh, supplements, and the supplements that you're on are designed also to help us improve, either improve metabolism or reduce the amount of this uh, yeast in our system or to help you use sugar better, okay? Iodorov, Iodorov is a combination of two um, molecules that are in the class that we call halides uh, or halogen compounds, so bromine, chlorine, iodine, fluorine, all those are in the same class. You know, they all are very potent bud killers. But for humans, our cells have developed a taste for iodine. So that's the bud killer that our bodies naturally will use to keep our, uh, it's just like keeping your pool clean, right? If you have a swimming pool, you keep chlorine in there. Well, you're internally, you're, your body's basically a big swimming pool, right? And, uh, but you can't sterilize it with chlorine, right? So we have to use iodine. So, Everybody should be on iodine supplements. I mean, everybody across the board should be taking iodine. Um, let's see, now this, this all one green, that, that's just a, 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 a multiple uh, vitamin and mineral supplement that's just excellent. Uh, uh, if you're not on one, that's a good one to, to get on. <clears throat> magnesium, magnesium allows us to use sugar more efficiently. And if we, use sugar more efficiently, then it, it doesn't stay in the bloodstream, right? So if it gets into the cell and it gets burned quickly, then it doesn't stay in the bloodstream to raise your insulin, right? So anything that we can do to improve glucose efficiency or insulin efficiency is going to help us lose weight because it reduces the amount of insulin that we're producing. So magnesium is one of those main minerals that uh, allows us to, uh, to, to metabolize sugar better. If you're not on a magnesium supplement, you know, um, 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day is a real good uh, place to start. There's a, there's a supplement called Calm, C-A-L-M. That's a powder. 
and just a teaspoon of it uh, or a tablespoon of it a night um, gets you the magnesium that you need. We also have a topical magnesium that you can just uh, rub on, right, the magnesium gel. Uh, you know, magnesium reduces blood pressure, uh, also uh, relieves just about any type of cramping, right, so uh, like from migraines to uterine cramps, right, many times those are because people don't have enough magnesium. And we get these levels of magnesium up and then those things go away. Uh, magnesium also for the bones. Everybody talks about calcium, but magnesium is a more important supplement for building bone, actually, than, uh, than calcium. Now, selenium. Selenium is a mineral. Selenium improves your thyroid function, right? So your thyroid hormone it's, uh, <coughs> has uh, basically two different hormones. One is T4, which is the weak thyroid hormone, and then there's T3. Your T4 has to be converted into T3 to make it active. And that's what selenium does, right? So if people are low selenium, then you're not producing the active form of thyroid, right? Vitamin, oh, the selenium also boosts your immune system. And of course, the, keeping your immune system uh, powerful is how we keep down the level of our bugs. Uh, this vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is something else that just every, everybody should be on uh, because of the preventive effects we find with it in uh, things like cancer and depression and weight loss, uh, diabetes, right, Alzheimer's, several different things. And we thought people would get enough vitamin D by getting sun exposure, but we find that that's not true. It's just across the board, everybody tested as low in vitamin D. So that's very important for folks to take. The B100, so the, all the B vitamins as a complex improve your cells' ability to use sugar. So again, if we make uses of, of uh, sugar more efficient, then you don't produce as much insulin. If you don't produce as much insulin, then you don't hold on to as much fat, right? So a good um, B complex is this, it's called B100. And you just take one of those a day, and that covers all your B vitamins. Uh, fish oil, we're not on that now, but once we finish the 40 days, fish oil is another thing that everybody will want to implemented into their supplement regimen because of its effect on heart disease and preventing cancer and on all these other diseases. So fish oil very important. The Robenzyme, if people have any issues with indigestion, you know, heartburn, uh, gastric reflux, if you have to take any of these um, uh, proton pump inhibitors like Prolisec or um, Nexium, those type of things, is because you're not producing enough human acid, right? So the human acid is not what causes the symptoms, it's the bacterial, the microbial acid, right? And so if you get, bring back up your level of human acid, it sterilizes your gut and you don't have all those bacteria and so forth, and you don't get the bacterial acid reflux. Right? So that's the, that's the difference. Because uh, <clears throat> you know, if you're having acid reflux, right, you think the last thing you want to take is acid, right? But again, there are the two different types of acid. There's the human acid and then there's germ acid. The germ acid is what gives you the symptoms. So if you take the human acid, which is hydrochloric acid, it kills off the germs and you don't have the symptoms. Right? How many? Uh, it depends. Three, three a meal to start is the uh, starting dose. Okay. So those, those are the, anybody have any, any questions about these or other supplements they're taking? Uh, I have a question. On the magnesium. Yes. Can we use the oil right now on the OCG? The the gel. The gel. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that made by the same company? Yes. Magnesium gel. Y yes. Should we add some of the things to this list that you gave us on our initial visit? Because some of those things aren't on my list. So what's not on your list? The magnesium is Magnesium, but that, that's good to add, yes. The B100 is not The B100, on this. everybody should be on, yes. And um, that all one. The all one, you don't necessarily need to add that, but it's okay. a good vitamin mineral supplement if you're okay. not on one. So add B100 and yes. magnesium. Uh, how much magnesium gel and where do you apply it and what time of day? It doesn't matter what time of day, where you apply it, just anywhere on your skin where there's not so much hair, and then um, a half teaspoon. Um, I told you I had a little acid reflux in our initial visit, and I've been taking the Robenzyme, and it seems like it just makes me nauseated and sick about an hour or two after I take it. 
Okay, so uh, there may be some adjustment time where it's, you, it's uh, killing off things and you have that kind of kind of reaction. So that should subside though um, as we go on. Because I I stopped it and I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you know your body will when it goes through what we call detox, right? You feel it, you got to feel bad before you feel better. Right, so. Yeah, and I and I think maybe. The, the metformin I'm taking is making my blood sugar too low. You know, and I'm, I'm doing the P90X, and I'm just, I just want to lay down and go to sleep. Okay, so I'm, I would cut back on the P90X thing. Okay. Yeah. I did. I had yeah. to. I couldn't do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's 500 calories. is just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For breakfast, all we have is a half a grapefruit for breakfast. Right. And so you've got a big handful of supplements. Her stomach's pretty tender. It's kind of hard to, you know, with just a half a grapefruit in there, it's mostly juice. And, uh -huh. and you're putting all these supplements in there and on her tender stomach. Supplements. Mm -hmm. yeah. I told him to maybe just take his thyroid in the morning on his empty stomach and then spread the others throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. With with the food like and with the meal. meal. You at a time. Right. I did the same thing. What's that? I think that I had the same problem that she did. But you know, I had a little stomach that didn't have any juices uh -huh. at all. Right. And so the next Yeah, that, and then the other thing, uh, as I was telling Jack and Lola, is the, the, the it's called Calmag citrate, right? Uh, so it's an, it, it will be an alkalizing alpha, compound, and uh, just a, um, a teaspoonful of that in some water. You can blend some thing. of those initial tablets into that. Sorry, Nick? You could blend some of those initial tablets into the Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, into that drink, and, yes. Uh, not have the tablets sitting in your stomach. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that's, what I, that's what I mean, yeah. Well, the kind we use, or kind we have is Calmax citrate is thorn, right? Yeah. Do you sell thorn? Calmax citrate. Yeah. Anybody have any difficulty, other difficulties? Anybody have any problems with diarrhea? Yeah, so that's, <laughs> so that's the metformin. It is, okay. Yeah, and, and, then, and that, that symptom, I mean, as your body adjusts to it, you know, that wears off. But if it's a real big problem, you have to just cut your metformin in half. I'd, I'd like to trade a little bit of constipation for his diarrhea. <laughs> 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 that's well, the other thing that that magnesium will help. Yeah. It will. Yeah. Yeah. Also improves sleep. Lots of good things about magnesium. Should that be taken in the morning? You wrote on an empty stomach on mine in the morning. So well, should so I what? take the, the metformin, the B100, and the magnesium? Should I just add that to my list that magnesium? I take in the morning? Magnesium? Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Now, is, there any, is there any harm in taking the Calmag citrate powder and the Calm powder no. together or no. separate? No. You're not gonna, we're not going to overdose on you. No. Okay. I don't let you overdose on you. We have a couple of bottles of that gel we, we made up, so I just made two to start with, but we can mix them. Okay. 
challenges? I'm very hungry in the morning when I wake up. Uh-huh. I don't, I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea. <laughs> Is there right. anything I can do? Uh, the, uh, the the carbonated water? Okay. Right, with, uh, with lemon or lime? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then I've been, like, I eat lunch about 12.30 and then I try to wait to eat dinner at like 6 or 7. Uh-huh. But I work a varied schedule too, because sometimes, like, I got off work last night at 11 o'clock. Right. So. Well, do you eat breakfast on this? I don't, I mean, it's just not, I mean, it's just coffee or milk and, or coffee or tea with a little bit of milk. And right. I don't drink, I mean, I don't drink okay. anything caffeine. Yeah. Do you, you have the fruit? No. Can you have fruit? Yeah. Is, it, that's, is that on the breakfast? No. No. Just, no. No, no, no. Okay. Well. I guess you Would can. it hurt? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Cups, could I have like a couple of melatos? No. In the morning? No. No. Okay. no. Follow strictly the diet. Follow strictly, strictly, okay, strictly the, the diet. <laughs> right. So. You don't want to eat the apple fruit in the morning? No. No, not if it's not on your list. No. Well, that's sure. There's no food on breakfast. I mean, that's no. Food. There's no. Other questions? All right, well, everybody lost real well this first, the first week. But like I say, that, uh, that initial weight loss <coughs> um, is, sometimes, is a very top-end weight loss because usually you're losing quite a bit of fluid, you know, water. So, uh, so next week, the weight loss might not be quite as big a bang as you had on that first week. So, but it'll stabilize down to um, you know, three to four pounds a week. Okay, um, so we're averaging around six pounds, right? So, uh, okay. well, I gained after I ate those two days, right? And I'm probably down those pounds, those six pounds, but that was what I put on. Yeah, is that what everybody else did? Did I put on weight when they were uh, gorging? Mm -hmm. Yes, and did you try, and that's the weight that you pulled back off? Yeah, so, so we're talking really about that plus five pounds. Well, our, our Initial weight is the weight that I weigh, I weighed you at. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, any, anybody with energy problems? Well, <laughs> you <can't laughs> <hands>, please. <laughs> Just kind of in the morning, getting, getting going. Yeah. I mean, I'm sleeping good. And yeah. I, once I get up and going, I'm fine. Uh, that's where the coffee would help. <laughs> I wouldn't sleep at night. <laughs> so when I was, uh, Angela's been hungry, so you told me to eat some lettuce and work mixed greens. Mm -hmm. And that can put some lemon juice on them. Yeah. So. Well, a vegetable, I can have a little bit of vegetable. Yeah, those the, like mixed greens. The, okay. um, you come in the box already clean, wash okay. them in, yeah. Okay. All right, well, same time next week. Can, can we talk about, can we talk about product? Yeah. So we can do that somewhat, but does, does, has anybody found or can recommend um, a chapstick? Um, did we clarify the petrolatum issue? We can't use petrolatum, according to the book, right? Right. Uh, right. And that's what most of those are made out of. There's um, Tom's, and his, I think, doesn't have petrolatum. The other thing that you can use is, um, well, no, you can't use that. <laughs> I just got that baby oil gel. I've been using that. The baby oil, right? You the can gel. Use that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's thicker, and it kind of stays on better. Yeah. That's what I've been using. Do y'all like that? I poured up some mineral oil in small bottles, because they all put stuff on their lips all day long. Did you even take a look at that label? Well, this is what I, this is the lotion that I sent you. Oh, wow. And then you said it was fine. And then the seed notice is like, well, it's got a little bit of petrolatum in there. So I just wanted you to double check while we were here. Because it's, oh, okay. It's, yeah, so it's, it's, it's um, I mean, that's, yeah. I know they were so small when I sent it to you. Yeah, petrolatum. Yeah, Yeah.
Yeah, this diet, I mean, it's just really incredibly how sensitive your body is, right? It's sniffing out any fat <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that, that it can find. So, you know, just, you know, some lotion or chaff you know, it'll, it'll, that fat will get in and the body will say, oh, well, here's some fat we can use. We don't have to burn fat. Right. I had a question. Um, I, previous, I've had issues with my sinuses. I mean, yep. sinus headache. And, like, the very first day, I had a really bad sinus issue. Is that because I've got a lot of yeast in my sinus? Yes, yes. Yeah. So that's, that's what I was t telling Jeremy about. You know, as your body is cleansing, right, you may, you'll have, your symptoms can get worse. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, because I'm just now finally kind of getting over it. Yeah. I was like burning my, I mean, I could tell Did my you have a discharge? Yeah. I'm yeah. 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 Oh, my Carmex has petroleum in it, and I really need a lot of lip balm. What, what brand is it? I guess I didn't Just mineral oil. Yeah. Just the or, or the, uh, gel. Yeah, the Toms. Toms? Toms, yeah. Is it kind of going to taste like that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can get it at Market Street United. Okay. <laughs> I've been putting it on there. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. No. No. All right. Well, this is uh, good news on our other other group that uh, with the, the spray, uh, the everybody's mostly is on the spray. And, uh, you know, and everybody lost weight about like you would lose just taking the HCG, right? Uh, and then one guy is, he, who had been in one of these classes before, he had HCG left over, so he said, well, look, can, can we combine them? I said, so, well, let's give it a try. And uh, now he, with the spray, is doing all the uh, exercise and so forth and still not hungry, right? So just an update. So I think once you finish this, right, to stay on the spray is going to be a, a really great maintenance tool for us. Sure. I don't think, have we talked about the spray in this group? No. Well, the, yeah, la last week I just I just mentioned that I had an, another group in this with this spray and it's an appetite suppressant. We might use it as a maintenance. I didn't say much about it, but... Uh, well, how do we get a prescription for it? There's no prescription. It's just, it's to, I have it in the office. Yeah. So do you want us not to use it because of the control part? Or? No, 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 no. Anybody that wants to can. Will that help with the hunger? Yes. Oh, maybe I should get the hunger. <laughs> yeah. What she say? With the hunger. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't yeah. know what I need. Yeah, no, so I have it in the office for anybody that you, wants to get that. Would you explain to them what this, kind of what the spray is? Just a little couple So, again, of our big, two of our big issues are the estrone, which makes you store fat, and the growth factors, and then the, the insulin, right? <clears throat> so if we can have an effect on any or all of those, right, it's very good. Now, what makes us produce insulin, again, is an amount of food that we eat. So anything that controls the amount of food that we eat, then it will lessen the amount of insulin that we produce just by the size factor. When you have yeast in your body, yeast eats up sugar. They eat up the available sugar, which makes your brain think that you're hungry, right? So if you can reduce the level of yeast and all these other microbes in your body, then you, you have less mouths to feed, and so your brain gets full quicker, right? And that, so that reduces the amount of fat uh, because you reduce the amount of, of insulin. Well, this spray that I found from this uh, dermatologist in California is designed as a, uh, a spray for, for pain, right? Particularly nerve pain. So if people have you know, diabetic pain uh, or um, shingles or... Um, uh, any kind of <laughs> neuropathy, um, this spray sprayed them. I mean, it takes the pain away in seconds. I mean, I have people that have been, been in pain for 10 years, and we've sprayed the spray on it. I mean, it takes away in, in seconds, which is remarkable. But then the other thing that I noticed as I was researching in the uh, ingredients is that it has an ingredient in it that helps us, uh, again, reduce the microbial load and, and use insulin less. <coughs> And so, um, so I just I thought that, uh, that that might reduce appetite. And so we tried on a couple of people, and it did. And so, um, so then I just uh, asked my group of people, you know, if anybody wants to try this, you know, then I, you know, I'll take you through it as an experiment. And so we had several people that did. And uh, yeah, they had almost um, just, you know, it's what we would expect on the HCG protocol, right? So what's the price on that? Can uh, we buy 50, 50. Can we buy it today? Yes. Huh? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, are you going to tell us how to apply?
apply it and use it? Or? Yeah, so it's just uh, five sprays under your tongue. Right? Hold it there for 30 seconds, right, and then swallow it. And it has a, you know, it's a bit of a vinegary taste, right? So it's and not bad. Is this for the pain? No, no, no. This is to, for, to, for weight loss. Initially. Oh, okay. It was for pain. Topically, yeah. right? Topically for pain, or do you use it? Topically for pain. Yeah. Okay, but then you squirt it in your mouth, too? You squirt it in your mouth for the weight loss. Amen. How many times a day? Once? Just once. Well, no, no, I'm sorry. Three, three times a day. Yeah, so breakfast, lunch, dinner. And is this uh, so many minutes away from food or drink? No, it doesn't matter. But I would do it before you eat. Yeah. I, I wanted to ask you, I, the metformin. Yes. You know, I, I needed to hear from Jody. So I got with my friend Pat, and she had ordered some. So she gave me some of hers, and then I got online and ordered some. Okay. But... I didn't know how to type it, and it's 850. We couldn't get the 500. 850, okay, so just take one with uh, lunch and one with dinner. Oh, okay, I was just taking one, so yeah. But I just got it, so I'm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right, well, I'll, I'll go back here to the office. Anybody that wants to get the spray, you can go and pick it up in there. And you found the source of that for me? Yes. You can go on his website.